Now I want to make a small adjustment to the top of the armature. I think this is way too long and I'm going to clip it. I also think that my legs are a bit long as well, so I'm going to clip them. I'm not going to make them as short as I think they need to be right now because these look very long, but once I add the bulk, those legs will become a lot smaller. And then my tail also needs to be trimmed. And I'll probably trim that to about here. Now my trim, my trimming's all done, and I want to add toes with the chenille stems. So to do that, I'll take one wire, and I will wrap it around completely, and I will trim these to all match the same length. So there's one foot, and then I'll do the same over here. And of course, they're not like super accurate, but that's okay. They don't need to be. I am not going to felt around my legs or my feet because they're very, very small on my bird. All right, so I think I'm ready to start the actual felting process. So to do that, you will need some supplies. You'll need a felting cushion or foam. You'll need raw wool, and you'll need a felting needle. The felting needle is very sharp, and you have to be very careful when you use it. When you're not using it, you can just place it into the foam like that. Then you don't have to worry about losing it or it falling. These are very delicate needles, and you have to make sure you're using them correctly or else they will snap, and we don't want that to happen. So the raw wool is the bulk of the body. I'm not going to add color till I am completely done making the body of my bird, and I'm going to start by wrapping a small amount around the spine or the middle of my, my bird. And I'm going to hold it down in place with one hand. This is the dangerous part. And by holding your finger over the top where it's bent, you're going to go straight down into the foam, passing through the felt all the way. This is felting. This is creating the latch of the fibers to each, to each other, because at the end of each wool fiber is a barb. So I am making the barb stick to each other. You have to be careful around the pipe cleaners because if you hit them, you will snap the needle. So be, and of course, don't hit your fingers either. That's a very easy thing to do and you will bleed. So once I just poke around for a little bit, I'm going to pick it up because it's going to get attached a little bit to the foam and I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to felt the other side. Now, there is, a, there is such thing as over felting, where if you felt too much, you will not be able to felt any more on top. So you want to keep it a loose consistency, and that's pretty good. Kind of feels like a marshmallow. And now, th at this point, I'll add more. So this is the process. You just keep adding more and more bulk, and you keep felting more and more until you start creating the actual shape that you desire that you desire for your bird. And once you have the raw wool completed, be the longest part. When you are inserting the needle, make sure you're going straight down. If you go on an angle, when you pull out, you may snap the tip of the needle off. So straight up and down motion is what you need to do. And I'll flip it. And now I'll felt the other side. The next time you see a video, I'll have a lot more of this body completed. And we'll be moving on to color.